everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's Janeline again. And I hope you're having a fantastic day or night wherever you are in the world. And if you're new here, welcome. Here we do plenty of things. If that interests you, consider in subscribing to my channel and hit that bell button so that you're updated with my latest videos. So today's topic guys is I am going to show you the formula on how to prepare the most powerful and 100% organic pesticide using an ingredient we can, that we can normally found in the kitchen, which is the baking soda. So here is our baking soda. We are going to mix it with other ingredients to treat almost every pest in your garden. This powerful pesticide and fungicide solution, which is 100% organic, can be used to treat almost all types of pests in your garden, like aphids, mealybugs, trips, mites, white flies, worms, slugs, snails, soil fungus and plant fungus like powdery mildew, black spot rose disease, leaf rust, and leaf miners. So how does baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate, can kill pests, you might ask. So when baking soda is ingested by insects, it releases carbon dioxide bubbles which is fatal and poisons or, or kills them. So it can kill um, the insect. Not only will baking soda kill when it's ingested, but it's also effective when it comes in contact with the body of pest. Now let's prepare our 100% organic pesticide and fungicide solution. We are going to use two powerful ingredients in this pesticide recipe. So the first one is of course our baking soda and the second ingredient is our neem oil. So here's our neem oil. Don't worry if um, you don't have neem oil, you can use any vegetable oil, but this recipe is most potent if you use neem oil. So neem oil insecticide is absorbed by the plant and distribute it throughout the tissue. So once the product is in the plant's vascular system, insects intake it during feeding. So this compound causes insects to reduce or cease feeding, can prevent larvae from maturing, and in some cases, um, this oil coats the breathing holes of insects and kills them. But take note guys, some plants can be killed by neem oil, especially if it is applied heavily. So before spraying an entire plant, um, do a patch test first. So test a small area on the plant and wait 24 hours to check to see if the leaf has any damage. If there is no damage, then the plant should not be harmed by the neem oil. So always remember to apply neem oil only in indirect light or in the evening to avoid foliage burning and to allow the treatment to seep into the plant. Do not use it as well in extreme temperatures, either too hot or too cold. So let me just show you guys what are we going to be using to make our 100% organic pesticide and fungicide. So we're going to be using 1 liter of water, sodium bicarbonate or baking soda, neem oil, dishwashing liquid or liquid hand soap, and the spray bottle. So I have a 500 ml um, spray bottle here. So we're just going to be using half of what we're going to be making today. So let's continue with the steps on how to make our pesticide now let's start making our 100% organic pesticide so step one take one liter of water in a container or a spray bottle remember this formula is for one liter of water so you can alter the volume if you want to make less or more of this pesticide step two we add two teaspoons of baking soda to the water This is our first teaspoon and our second teaspoon. 
So step three, we add one teaspoon of neem oil. So we have our one teaspoon here. There you go. And step four, to mix oil and water thoroughly, we can add 10 drops of liquid soap, around 10 drops. So you don't have to be accurate, but um, we just add 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then and then the step five is to mix it thoroughly and put it in our spray bottle all right guys so i'm going to transfer half of our solution to our um, spray bottle So about the volume guys, you don't have to be strict. Um, sticking to the volume, we're making an approximate um, volume of our um, ingredients. So if you don't have exactly two teaspoon or one liter, as long as it's not exceeding um, the volume too much and it wouldn't dilute our solution, it's fine. So there you go, I already transferred it um, to our spray bottle. So you can use the spray bottle, this 500 ml spray bottle uh, for spraying or you can just attach um, the spray nozzle on the bottle that we have made for um, the 1 liter solution. So you have two choices on how um, you can spray but the important thing is you have your 100% organic pesticide um, solution. We can use our 100% organic pesticide and fungicide about once a week and it will help kill pests and keep fungal issues at bay. So make sure the leaves are completely coated especially where the pest or fungal problems um, are at its worst. Okay, so there's been concern about the use of neem oil and bees. So most studies specify that if neem oil is used inappropriately and in massive quantities, it can cause harm to small hives, but has no effect on medium to large hives. Additionally, um, since neem oil insecticide does not target bugs that do not chew on leaves, most beneficial insects like butterflies and ladybugs are considered safe. So there you go, guys. Um, I hope you found it useful. And please um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And please like this video. It's, uh, it will really help my channel. And thank you again for watching my video. I'll see you again soon on my next video. Happy gardening!